My name is Steve Morse, Director of Student and Family Services for the Bellingham School District. The Bellingham Promise uh, states that all children should be loved and all children should be cared for. And we really felt that school discipline was an area that ran sideways to that with a lot of kids and a lot of families. And we felt that um, making mistakes is a developmental a process and all people make mistakes. And rather than taking a punitive approach to mistakes, that it would be a lot better way to go to teach, use mistakes to teach kids the skills they need and to teach kids how to get along in society and as a community. Good morning. Restorative justice, uh, to me, starts with the premise that rather than punishment, we look at ways to fix things and make it right. Well, we believe that we live in a society that's pretty disconnected, and we think by having restorative justice and helping communities to come together, that that will teach kids the skills to get along, and as they become adults, they'll get along better in the workplace and in community. And so we think it affects not just the kids who are in trouble or having issues, but it, we think it sets a climate for learning for all the kids. If you see that other kids who make mistakes are treated well, you feel safer in that culture too. Like, I might make a mistake and not be excluded from that community. We only are going to become a better world if people can learn to live peacefully with each other. And it starts with your neighbor. I read a quote the other day, and I'm struggling to remember who it was. But um, it said something like, uh, the hardest part of loving your neighbor is your neighbor is the person who often annoys you the most. <laughs> it's easy to love someone who lives across the world who you never see. But learning to love your neighbor and get along with your neighbor is a big piece of peacemaking.